this particular fully funded scholarship we are looking at today have different dimension so i want you to stick around as you can see here that it is written that 100 percent waiver on tuition application fee registration fee student service fee health service fee will be covered using this fully funded scholarship okay note that if you don't understand the uh, idea behind this particular scholarship it will be very difficult for you to know the right thing to apply to okay so if you are willing to apply for undergraduate program for master program i mean for phd program that's graduate programs then this is the video you have to watch right now According to reports, over 8,000 students are already admitted using this fully funded scholarship. And if you're applying for your undergraduates, you are going to enjoy this fully funded scholarship for the period of four years. And for the master program, you are going to enjoy this scholarship for two years. And for your PhD, you are going to get this for four years. There are some requirements that you must meet to be able to uh, successfully qualify for this particular scholarship. At this point, I want you to click on that like button and also click on that subscribe button if you are new to this channel. If you have any question, drop it at the comment box as we continue in today's video. Those who have interest in the art and science program, in business program, in engineering program, in earth science program, in law program, and in program related to military are people who can successfully apply to this fully funded scholarship. Note that if your area of interest is in any of these six area of focus for this fully funded scholarship, then this is the time you have to start or file your application right now. If you are going to be applying for your master program, you all need to understand that it is a must and a requirement that your undergraduate degree certificate is ready. You also need a copy of your transcript. For your undergrad, you need your high school certificates ready. You also need to have both undergraduate and master program certificates ready to apply successfully for the PhD program. Okay? So I want you to also understand that it is not a magic. If you are trying to apply for scholarship or you are willing to apply in subsequent months to come for a particular scholarship, there are some documents you need to get ready. First, if you don't have your official transcript or the scholarship is not requesting for your official transcript, then you need to make sure that you have your personal transcript, which is the unofficial transcript with you. If you are trying to apply for scholarship, you need to also make sure that you have a copy or the data page of your international passport. You need to also have a photo, uh, a passport photograph of yourself with you as you also need to provide means of proving that you are able to speak English, either using the uh, English proficiency exam, that's uh, uh, using the IES or using uh, TOEFL, which is one of the ways that you can prove that English is your foreign language of instruction, right? Okay, and if you are coming from English speaking country, you can as well use this to prove that, okay, your previous courses in your high school and in English and you are able to speak English. If you are applying for your bachelor program, like I said earlier, your high school needs to be ready. And if you're applying for your master's, you need minimum of CGPA of 2.5 on a scale of 4.0. And for the master's application, you need the CGPA of 3.0 on the scale of uh, 4.0. So if your school scale is of 5.0, then you need 4.0 on this. And if your school scale is 5.0 here, then you need a minimum scale of 3.5 right here. So you need to get that right, okay? And you must make sure that you have full-time experience of at least two years for your PhD program. Today, we are talking about the scholarship that is currently open, and this scholarship is of seven category. So the first category here is the Merit-Based Graduate Scholarship. Applicants with a cumulative of 3.5 or equivalent at the undergraduate level 
of CGPA and postgraduate study of the University of Abu Dhabi will receive a 25% tuition discount. So I guess this is not the one you want to apply to, right? If you go to the sixth one, which is the second option, graduates of Abu Dhabi University who wish to pursue postgraduate study in any branch of Abu Dhabi University graduates have a 20% tuition discount. The third one is the 25 waivers on tuition fee. And the fourth one is the 20% waiver on tuition fee. The third one is 20 to 50% waiver on tuition fee for GCC country. So there are some list of country that we have under the GCC country. So you want to go there and go and check your program. Okay. I mean your list of country if your country is actually there. The second one is the chairman scholarship for international students which comes with 100% waiver on tuition, application fee, registration fee, student service fee, health service fee. Note that if I bring information for you, it is also proper that you go ahead to go and make your own research before you start your application. I am not an immigration expert. I am bringing information to you here based on the research that I have made and I have gathered together on the internet. Okay, so if you find information here, make sure you also do due diligence to the research and make sure you find information relating to you or related to you. Okay, the first one here is the 100% waiver on tuition, which is also the same as the second option that we have here but the name of the scholarship is quite different note why are we having different scholarship inside one scholarship video some school they, i think i've made a video about school that have up to 14 15 scholarship in one scholarship application so it depends on your cgpa and your grade points or let me say your level of or uh, your level of of your level of seriousness in school based on your grade this will determine the type of scholarship that you are going to get most time so most time if you are not getting a fully funded scholarship and you are getting a partial scholarship this will base on your school or your your previous school cgpa okay so if you come to this section you are going to see that information related to this scholarship is actually on this page and the deadline for this particular scholarship is this period so you want to make sure you are applying as soon as you can okay like i said at the beginning it is available for both undergrad both the graduate program for masters and the phd level and we are talking about the abu dhabi university scholarship okay so now that we've seen information about this particular scholarship let me quickly walk you through because i've gone through the website the application portal i mean the application process uh, application page all the information on the page i've gone through the official website before i gather all this information to come and give you here so if you click on this first page it will take you to the uh, bachelor degree program page and if you go to this second page it will take you to the postgraduates and if you also come down here you are going to see that the start date for the class for you right okay so there are different start dates that you need to put into consideration or in your mind so if you are not applying right now then you want to make sure you apply uh next year okay but the application that you are starting right now we uh registration deadline for newly admitted students is this then the first day of class is this then if you have any payments you have to make then you have to complete that before this date so if you come to this uh, page you are going to see the apply now button here so if I click on this now if you come to Abu Dhabi official website as you can see it's here this is the official website so if you come right here and scroll down to read information about the master uh, and bachelor program scholarship you are going to see some information here and abu dhabi is dedicated to empowering outstanding students and inspiring them to pursue their education objective okay the maximum coverage period of any abu dhabi scholarship is four years or upon graduation whichever is sooner 
In some cases, English language requirements are also included. It is not necessary to reapply for a scholarship as long as the scholarship maintains criteria. Okay, so you have to make sure you read every information. I've given you some of the information, and as you can see here, some of the scholarship are here: the athletics, the academics, the alumni, the university scholarship. All the information that I've shared with you is actually on this particular page. Okay, so if you come here. You are going to see uh, the page where you can start your application. But before we look at that, I want us to look at uh, the application, uh, uh, the program page itself. So on this particular page, you are going to see uh, information about said search postgraduate and undergraduate uh, degree program. You can search for a particular program here. So you can search. Let's say I want to search for. Uh, information technology information technology so this information technology is available for bachelor is also available for masters so i can i can clear that off you can also scroll through some of this program here to go and check the programs that are available once you find the program that are available then you want to come to this admission apply to uh, abu dhabi university you are going to see information the same information i've given you okay so the first application started 25th of august and those who applied then uh started their class already and now we are looking at the winter admission which is uh, having a deadline of this period okay so you want to scroll down you want to scroll down to this session where you have the apply now button here so if you click on this button this is where you can now start your application or you can also click on this apply button here that you can find at this top so if you click on this you are going to see two information page here so that is uh, where you do your application so you can see apply now and query online okay so which of them you are good to go you can also check some of the previous course requirements you can go back to the program let's say you want to check uh master of engineering management you can click on this just open it read more information about the program there's not too much information on the program i just see brief information about the program why you need to uh take that course and all of those so that is what we have on that particular page okay if you need any help regarding your application your scholarship application you've seen any video on my channel and you want me to assist you with the application you can reach out to me on my website on the contact page where uh uh part of my website you can reach out to me i'm going to help you with your application but this is not free for a fee you've seen any scholarship you've seen any school you want to apply to reach out to me for support and if you need any other assistance from me regarding application reach out to me you can always reach out to me for your uh, permanent residence application uh, any university admission application uh, you want to reserve uh, your flight, your hotel reservation, accommodation booking, reach out to me for that, okay? And if you've not subscribed to this channel, make sure you are subscribed on this channel. And also make sure that you are following my Instagram page. Make sure you are following my Facebook page as well, okay? Because I'm going to be selecting five people randomly and helping them to process their admission application when we reach 10,000 subscribers on this YouTube channel, okay? And make sure you are always active under my comment section so that you can be one of the lucky person that will be selected randomly. Okay, till then, I'm going to catch up with you in another one. Peace.